Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Lady Cup. The Lady Cup is a Czech made cup and they use a liquid silicone rubber from a German company to make them. To make them. Uh, they do show that they had tests done, so or tests done, uh, so they have certificates on their website and you'll have to do your own research if you're curious about those or worried about how the cup was made or where it was made. They do have two different websites so all of the links the websites that I talk about um, today in this video, I, I will include the links in the description below. Um, on their websites, they do have discount codes, and I'm not going to include that in the description, but if you like on their Facebook page, they always have updates on what those discount codes are, as well as just visiting their website. It's just um, shown on their front page. So, not hard to find. Um, they do offer other items besides just the cups. They offer intimate wipes, sanitizers, gels for washing your feminine areas and for your cups. They have uh, lube and Milton sterilizing tablets. And I know a lot of people like to soak their uh, menstrual cups in sanitizing tablets after they end their period and they also have reusable menstrual pads. Each cup that, or not each cup, but the, when you order from them you get uh, two free intimate wet lady wipes. Um, they do offer the cup in different gift sets. You can just buy the cup by itself or you can get a double pack. Uh, they also have different gift sets that include some of those other items that I had mentioned. They also have a pack that if you buy five cups, you get two free. So that's a really good deal. Um, I know if you have you know friends that want to use the menstrual cup or like the menstrual cup, you guys can you know chip in and get the five or the seven um, cups and cut your cost. Or if you just love a cup and need have need to have several colors of that same cup. Um, you can do that as well, and I am guilty of that with uh, one of my other cups. I have several different colors of the same cup. Um, so they do carry 13 different colors, and I read that the black was coming back, but I didn't see it on their website just recently. They do have a size small and a size large, and I do have a large here. I did purchase mine from the Feminine Wear website, and it was just a couple dollars more, um, and I didn't get the wet wipes, uh, but on the Feminine Wear website, they only have two colors now. When I had got uh, ordered mine, there were several different colors, and I don't know if she's phasing it out um, because of the FDA, but there are only orange and inspired by nature color and I guess that's just like a, a, a clear or maybe a tinted with yellow cup um, just to be well kind of this is what it kind of looked like this color here no, not a beigey color but anyhow um, so I did order mine from the Feminine Wear website. It was a couple dollars cheaper and I had a discount code with Feminine Wear so I got to use that too. And I also ordered it from Feminine Wear because I had I had purchased, well it was they were a gift. Um, I had gotten five cups altogether so I got uh, you know, a good range of cups from one website, and that's that's awesome. I didn't have to pay for shipping for each of these different companies. Uh, but on the Lady Cup website, they show a, a box that the cup comes in, and I didn't receive that, which is fine with me, um, since it cut shipping down for me. Um, I just got it in a, a little plastic bag here, oh, that's upside down, um, and there's a pamphlet in there, but I'm not going to open it. It does have different languages in there, and uh, the tag on the top, I did get a yellow, and mine is a large, and here's the back here, a little information about the size and the cups and the Lady Cup website. I also received a drawstring pouch with the Lady Cup uh, tag on it, and they on the 
On the uh, Lady Cup website, they do say that this is 100% organic cotton um, and dyed using herbs. So this whole bag is supposed to also be 100% organic. And I know some of you are all about um, those natural things, so I just wanted to mention that. The Feminine Wear website does have discount codes, and usually they it seems like they come out every single month. And I do have a code for the month of March, and I will include that in the, the description below, but we only have a few more days of March, so if you like on their Facebook page, I'm sure she'll update uh, all of us with the new code for April. But come April 1st, 2015, some of the cups that Feminine Wear offers will not be available to be shipped to the United States. And I don't know if the Lady Cup is on that list. Um, and that is because of the FDA regulations. But if you're ordering some of the cups that Feminine Wear carries right now, um, order them quickly because you only have a few more days before uh, those those will not be available and and again that's if you're in the USA so if you are in the US I don't want you to miss out on that, those great savings from them get it quickly so I do have a large cup here I didn't order the small size in this cup so I can't compare that for you but this cup measures approximately two inches uh, tall minus the stem there and I'll go ahead and show you the numbers you can see there. And I'll go ahead and start with the stem. It is a hollow stem. And you can see right down into it. And it's really flexible. Uh, there's nothing inside to hold it back, so it, there's no real big resistance in there. And it is fairly stretchy. I'll just hold the bottom of that stem and pull on it. It's so nice and stretchy. Um, it's not so stretchy that when you pull on it, if it's suctioned to you and you pull on it, it, it uh, doesn't continue to exit your body. And I do have some cups that you pull the stem and the stem is outside of my body and the cup is still suctioned against, uh, against my cervix. So uh, this is a good stem. You have a good... Um, nice stretch area to pull down and it just comes down a little bit for you to pinch down on that base. Uh, there are no grip rings on it as you can see and you probably have noticed. They just have these little bumps or dots and they're not really really raised and they do go all the way around the stem here. And they don't really lend any added grippiness to it, so I, I think they could have actually done away with those bumps. But they are a good smooth area. There's not um, any ridges to these bumps. With this stem, you do need to be careful. Excuse me. You do need to be careful if you're going to cut it off because that seal is really, really shallow and you can see the the bottom of that seal there and if I stretch it you can see that there's not very much meat between the actual cup and the hollow of the stem so you have little room for error if you're gonna cut that off I would I would leave some of that stem intact so that you don't accidentally cut down into the actual cup itself or your cup will leak so right underneath that stem are more of these grip dots. And again, they're nice and smooth. There's no hard ridges or edges to them. They're not pokey. And this silicone is, um, it's kind of grippy. It's not the smooth silicone that a lot of these cups are made out of. And I'm just going to do a comparison. I know if you have watched any of my other videos, I, I do this uh, with several of the cups because they do have a different silicone uh, finish, I guess. Um, so this is my Diva Cup, and if I pinch down and pull my fingers apart, uh, my fingers just slide right over it. 
this kind of, uh, the Lady Cup kind of reminds me of the TPE uh, material where it has that uh, grip to it. So, but this is a, um, this is a liquid silicone rubber. So my fingers don't really slide real fast off of that cup. So it's it's got a good grippiness to it. Oops. <laughs> I, I really didn't just slide my fingers off of it. <laughs> I didn't have the cup in my fingers all the way. Uh, so it does have a good grippiness to it. I think they probably could have done away with those grip dots on it and not have had any of the the bumps. But it's a nice clean design all the way down here and um, there is a slight, the slightest bump right here in the cup and they don't have that um, edge of a secondary rim and here's my, second, uh, my Diva cup to show you that secondary rim right there it just gets a little more firm from here up to right underneath the top rim and then the top rim is the thickest part. They don't have that um, edged secondary rim but they do have a secondary rim at that. Uh, it's invisible if you will. So it does get a little bit more firm from that area which is right about there at that um, section release hole and it carries up into the um, top rim they do have a seam that runs all the way around the that top rim and it's in the center of that I don't know if you can see I can't get a really good shot of it but um, I just want to say that they finished this off really really nicely it's it's quite smooth even that though there's a um, oh, my dog got released <laughs> she's she came running into the other room. Um, they they finished it off where it's it's fairly smooth and I could I can't even barely feel that line. If I closed my eyes and tried to feel it, I probably would have missed it. So there is also a line here up on the top of that rim. And I'm not sure if that was a seam or if that was the bubble that is created when they pour the mold. But again, it's a nice finish. I can't feel that line there. They do say on their website that they didn't want to print this cup with anything or mold this cup with anything. Their name or measuring lines or numbers. Uh, so that you have an easier cleaning. My daughter's walking in the room. <laughs> uh, and these dots, even though they're molded in here, they would be easy to just rinse off under the top. So it just aids in easy cleaning. Right under this rim, there are six suction re release holes, and they're in the zigzag pattern, so up and down and up and down again. And I don't know if they're punch molded or drilled through. I didn't contact the company, but they are um, they are punched, if you will, um, diagonally. So all of them point downward to the outside or upward to the inside of the cup. This cup measures uh, right below the suction release hole the lowest suction release hole to the top of this um, stem is 26 milliliters and that is uh, right underneath an ounce of fluid so it holds quite a bit because you have a little bit more room till you hit the top and if you do actually use your cup to the very top maximum ca capacity it is over an ounce so it's a really good capacity cup great design I really do like this cup so my personal experience with this cup um, I did try it on a dry run and I also tried it on three different cycles um, and I just wasn't able to get it to open I tried my regular punch down fold and not putting a whole bunch of pressure here I, I couldn't get it to open this way and with some of the cups that are 
give me problems like this, I'm able to insert the cup and get it to open using the C fold or the U fold. And um, I was able to get the cup to open, but then it stayed smashed like this inside of me. So I don't know why. Maybe my muscles are just um, too too strong. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but <laughs> um, it, I just could not get it to open from this position. And there are, are a lot of suction release holes, and they are quite wide, so there was enough air in there to get it to re to open, but um, I just couldn't get it to because of my body. However, my daughter uh, loves this cup. It is uh, one of her top three favorites, so we will be keeping it. And don't send me any mails asking if I'll de-stash it. I'm, I'm sorry, it's going to stay in our stash. Um, so it just goes to show that everybody is different. Um, obviously, I've had a, a child, at least, well, I have two, I have, to, I have children. Um, but my daughter is, uh, she does not have children, and, but she is sexually active, so she's able to use this cup, and it is a size large. And one of her other favorites is the Alicia Cup, and it's really odd because the Alicia Cup is a long V-shaped cup, and it's quite firm. It's It kind of reminds me of a harder plastic, um, and I haven't seen it for a couple months. <clears throat> she's sitting here. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, she's saying, give me this one back. I took it from her so that I could do a video, and that was, you know, a few months ago, and we haven't switched again uh, for me to to review the Alicia Cup, but um, it just goes to show that it just really depends on your body, and it depends on the individual. So this cup didn't work for me, but it works great for my daughter. I do want to mention that it's on the, the Lady Cup website, um, they do say that you can boil this cup, and most of the cups you can boil, but um, I have seen questions asking if a cup can be boiled, so I thought I'd mention that. So I hope that I covered um, any questions that you might have had about the Lady Cup. If I missed something, or if you had any, any additional questions, you can leave me a comment below, or you can find me on Facebook. I am Red Herring there, too. Thanks for watching.